think will get the harshest penalty from the commissioner? Well, to me, there's no question it's Gordon. I think he's going to get at least eight games because he's already been suspended once in the NFL. He had a major, a litany of, of drug issues uh, in college. You know, he got kicked out of Baylor, went to Utah, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's a shame because he might be the most physically gifted receiver in the NFL, but the guy can't get out of his own way. I see at least eight games, possibly an entire season at this point. I believe, and, and Andrew, you may know this better than I do, I think he's a stage three offender at this point. So any other, any more uh, issues with him in the future, even if he only gets eight games this year, I mean, you're talking about at least a year of suspension. And then you, you, you talk about a guy who's just kind of going down from there. Ray Rice, I think it's two or three games. Ursay, you know, to use the word referendum again, that's an interesting referendum on how Roger Goodell is going to discipline an owner. He essentially works for them. And I don't know where that's going to come or where an actual suspension would affect the Colts. But I think that's the one Goodell really has to be careful with to show, uh, to seem to show objectivity. Andrew, who do you think will get the harshest penalty between Ray Rice, Josh Gordon, and Jim Ursay? I think the harshest penalty in broad terms, Maggie and Doug, will be Jim Ursay. The problem is, how do you quantify that to a football player? I think he'll get a, a significant financial impact, but again, I know what everyone's thinking, that doesn't bother him, he's got a ton of money. But I think he'll be forced to stay away from the team for a significant amount of time. And I know people are saying, well, that won't impact him on the field, but it will take away what's most important to him, hanging around his team, being part of it, being with Ryan Grigson and any decision making. And I think that will impact him. I think the one thing I will say, people are saying, why not yet? Why hasn't he disciplined Ursa yet? Well, as you just noted, he hasn't disciplined a lot of people, not just the owner. He hasn't disciplined Ray Rice, Josh Gordon, uh, Greg Hardy, Alden Smith, perhaps. All these things haven't happened yet. So it's not just Ursa. I think he's being at least equitable in terms of holding off so far. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.